we talk about writing systems of equations, and this is these are or this example is from Delta Math. So let's read the problem and go from our equations what we need to set up. So Joshua went to the grocery store and purchased cans of soup and frozen dinners. Each can of soup has 200 milligrams of sodium and each frozen dinner has 400 milligrams of sodium. Joshua purchased a total of 10 cans of soup and frozen dinners, which collectively contain 2,400 milligrams of sodium. Write a system of equations that could be used to determine the number of cans of soup purchased and the number of frozen dinners purchased. Define the, the variables and then use, a, use, use those to write the system. All right, so I'm gonna, you can use any variable you want, but I'm gonna stick with the X and Y. So I know that I have two things going on here, the soups and the frozen dinner. So I'm gonna say X, but watch what the question is asking. Um, it says write the system to determine the number of cans purchased and the number of frozen dinners purchased. So when I'm selecting what X is gonna equal, well, I need to find the number of cans purchased, so I'm going to use that. That variable is going to equal the number of cans purchased. My Y value variable is going to be the frozen dinners purchased because, again, I'm going back to what my question is asking me. Then once I define those variables, I have to write my two equations. Well, I know that Joshua purchased a total of 10 cans of soup and frozen dinners. All right, so let's go from there. I know that soup, which is X, plus frozen dinners, which is Y, have to equal 10. That's what he purchased, so there's my first equation. Also in the problem, it says that the soup has 200 milligrams of sodium, and frozen dinners have 400 milligrams of sodium. The total amount purchased was 2,400 milligrams of sodium. So the soup, the X, has 200 milligrams of sodium, and I need to add the 400 frozen dinners, or Y, to it, and that would equal my 2400. So that is my, that's how I set up my system of equations here. We would go on to plug these in if it said to solve, but right now we're learning to set up equations. So that's what we have here.